To the world, Queen Elizabeth II was Her Majesty, but to the youngest members of her family, she was simply Granny. At the time of her death at age 96, the Queen was a grandmother of 8 and great-grandmother of 12. It's easy to look back on the death of the Queen a year ago today and think of it solely as a moment in history, when the country mourned a figurehead. Amid all the many public tributes to a remarkable woman, it was a private remark by one of the family's youngest members, which summed up the feelings behind closed doors. The Princess of Wales told the story to members of the public outside Windsor Castle about her youngest son, Prince Louis, had reacted to the news by saying, at least, Granny is with Great Grandpa now. He did not attend the monarch state funeral last September, likely because he was still too young to sit through a, such a long and solemn event. But Australia's Governor General David Hurley revealed the loss was still playing on the Louis mind a week or so after it happened as he recalled a conversation with his mother the weekend before the funeral. The younger one is now asking questions like, do you think we can still play these games when we go to Balmoral? And things like that because she's not going to be there? Well, wishers who overheard the story said the princess was quite emotional and welled up as she recounted the conversation. Although he was only four years old when she died, the late queen shared several memorable moments with her sixth great-grandchild. On Princess Charles' third birthday, while some royals are expected to celebrate, the queen was so eager to have a private meeting with her Louis that she helicoptered into Kensington Palace from Windsor one day ago. Her Majesty who is known to prefer simple gifts over ostentatious presents, took a small bunch of hand-picked flowers from the Princess of Wales and had Sora say, been greatly looking forward to meeting Prince Louis. Back in June, all eyes were on Queen Elizabeth II as she appeared on the balcony of Buckingham Palace during the Trooping the Collar Parade. But it was Prince Louis who inadvertently stole the show. Louis was animated as ever reacting to the noise of the planes overhead, waving to the crowd and making all sorts of funny faces as he looked at the massive aircrafts flying low over the palace. Queen Elizabeth continued to smile throughout his antics, seemingly enjoying her great-grandson and even his most energetic moments. Louis also had a chat with his great-grandmother, Her Majesty, and according to one lip reader, Jeremy Freeman, he had some very sweet questions he wanted answering too. When weighing in on the scene, Freeman said that the youngest of the three Wales children asked the Queen, Are the red arrows coming? And in response, she replied with, I hope so. Louis's excitement seemed to peak after the red arrows did show up and painted the sky red. He exclaimed, Yes, 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 the queen said. There it is, before Louis added, Oh, red arrows, whoa! Even though Prince George and Princess Charlotte will eventually take on some of the most important senior royal titles, their younger brother Prince Louis is expected to carry a title that has significant ties to royal history and a particular sentimental connection to the late queen. The five-year-old only has an HRH title, Prince Louis of Cambridge. However, his late grand-grandmother stepped in to overrule a rule that had been in place for a century. She decided to extend a change to all of a Prince William and Catherine's children. This means that even though Charlotte and Louis, who are further down the line of succession, are unlikely to ever sit on the throne, are also a prince and princess. But, looking even further ahead into the future, Prince Louis would be in line to inherit a historic dukedom when he marries. Much in the same way that his father was made the Duke of Cambridge and his uncle Prince Harry was made the Duke of Sussex on his wedding day, Louis could one day be the Duke of York. The current holder of the title is Prince Andrew, so it would be unavailable to Louis if Andrew was still alive when he chooses to marry. Traditionally, the Duke of York title has been given to the monarch's second oldest son. So, if Prince William is on the throne and it is vacant, then Prince Louis will likely take on that style.